Okay, hello guys and welcome back to Chris Flies Planes. Chris here of course, and today we are flying once again in Red Bull Air Race The Game. Uh, first things first, I also want to do a quick shout out to the developers of this game, Slightly Mad Studios. I did see through my YouTube analytics they have been watching maybe a couple of my videos, so I just wanted to say hi, you guys are doing a cracking job. I can't wait to see where you go with this game. So as I said in my last episode, uh, the plan was for me to do a load of racing off screen just to get some money together, just so I'm not racing the same thing over and over again. Um, as you can see, we've done that. We now have $88,590. Just gonna repair my two planes. Uh, I also, whilst was grinding money, decided to buy the Edge 360. This is the top in the rookie class planes. Um, just made me a little bit competitive in the rookie section. Uh, however, we have enough money and we got the license, so we are now an amateur license and we can afford the Archer Merlin. The sweet forward design of the wings make the Archer Merlin a very agile configuration. On the other hand, every movement of aileron have a bigger influence for adverse your effect. Um, so this is the top plane in the Sports Voyager class, as you can see. Top speed 176, roll rate of 276, which is, compared to what we were flying, uh, definitely a lot higher, another 10%, 15% higher. So, we are going to purchase this straight away. And here we go. So, uh, I'm not going to jump in and do versus straight away, so we're just going to jump in and do some solo play. I'm going to start out nice and easy on myself and start out with Vegas. And let's see how this plane handles. So I hope you guys are all doing very well, I certainly am. It is Friday evening here for me. And sorry, I'm just starting a timer on my phone so I know how long I'm dragging on for. Uh, it's Friday evening here for me, it's still bloody hot. Um, but I have a vodka lemonade today. I may have some whiskey in a wee bit, but we shall see. And yeah, it's a long weekend, bank holiday. Happy bank holiday everyone. Hope you enjoy your three days off. So... Some of these intros have voiceovers, some don't. I assume that's going to be worked on as they add more to the game. But nonetheless, this looks absolutely beautiful. This game is stunning, guys. I mean, it really just is a looker of a game. Made by the same devs who did uh, Project Studio, uh, Project Cars, sorry. So you certainly imagine it's going to be quite good. Get into the track. Smoke on. All right, we can already see here the gates are a little bit smaller in this class. So uh, maybe I think they're a wee bit smaller. Okay. Oh, I actually got a gate pass there. That's nice, isn't it? Wow, this plane feels twitchy. I'm gonna take a racing line through there. I mean, even though I'm racing terribly, I'm fairly confident I'm gonna beat my previous level out. And bring her around again. We're gonna take a nice low racing line here. Uh, no, I assume we'll do this bit a little better this time. Over. 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 Whoa, I went over. And... Level her out. Over and over. Missed the race man that time, but... Uh, this plane flies really nicely, guys. It's definitely got that quicker roll rate. It feels a little bit more precise as well, I would say. So. Suddenly came to our own in the second half of this run. Oh, it's a looker as well. Look at that. Stunning, stunning, stunning plane. So that puts us 69th worldwide, which I feel isn't too bad. You can see our actual time was pretty good. Um, it's got 3.75 3 seconds of penalty. It's really let us down there. Nonetheless, another five grand in the bag. Let's return to the hangar and let's jump in and do a little bit of... The Grand Canyon. Okay guys, so for this race I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to um, take advantage of the replays in this game and there's going to be no voiceover. So just watch the run, it's certainly going to be a small run, enjoy the graphics and I'll see you guys on the other side.
guys, and I hope you enjoyed that little run around uh, the Grand Canyon there. Um, replay cameras are pretty nice, it's a little bit awkward to get video done for them. If anyone from Slightly Mad is watching this, please, please, please give me the ability to remove the GUI so I can just uh, record the replays directly myself instead of having to upload them to Facebook and then re-download them. That would be amazing, thank you. Um, okay, so let's do another run. Uh, let's jump into Spielberg. Change things up here. Let's do an evening of light clouds. So it's starting to get to grips with this plane now. It certainly flies really nicely. It's a little bit quicker. Um, as you can see, rules are a little bit more stringent. Now we're in the next class up. So I'm Welcome losing a little bit more time. Stop in the 2016 Red Bull Air Race World Championship in Spielberg. Set of the foot of the Styrian Mountains at the Red Bull Ring in Austria. This race course is one of the most challenging on the circuit due to the 61 meter vertical difference between the lowest and highest gate. Okay, here we go guys. Most difficult on the circuit apparently. So let's see how badly we can fail. Focal. All right, nice and soft adjustments. Everything calm. A little bit twitchy to there. Hit crack level. I barely, but whatever. Too high. Uh, that was a pretty solid pylon hit there. I mean, I'm not sure in that situation what would actually happen to the plane in real life because I hit that dead on with the propeller. Perfect. slightly better now. I'm not going to take the racing line through there. Uh, I honestly don't know this track very well. I haven't raced it too much. Uh, okay. Uh, through the chicane. That went pretty well. Too low? Oh, no. Awesome. Fantastic. Oh, this is going better than expected, guys, I've got to say. So, just dive it down and level. Wide on the exit there, but uh, level. Okay, that did not go too badly. Where were we at? 226 worldwide with a four second penalty. So it didn't go particularly well, let's be honest. But you can see our times are pretty good. This guy here apparently did a 43 second in the slowest plane ever with 40 second of penalties. So I would hazard a guess there's some sort of hacking going on there. Bit of a shame, but um. Return to the hangar. So I'm going to do one more versus race, and then we're going to do another third-person race at Ascot, uh, my home race, just so you guys can see the track. See if anyone's actually playing. I guess not. Let's jump in and do another solo play then. Uh, let's have a look at the Lausitz Ring. Let's do an afternoon with heavy clouds, which should be a bit interesting. And then we'll do a nice cinematic of Ascot and Call it a Day. Welcome to the sixth stop in the 2016 Red Bull Air Race World Championship, Lausitz. The Euro Speedway Stadium in Germany is a stunning backdrop as pilots return to race above the tri-oval track for the first time since 2010, when Lausitz Ring played host to a nail-biting season finale. Hannes Ark, the winner on the day, Paul Bonham, the champion for the season. This is a very technical course. Pilots must focus on the chicanes and vertical turns to stand any chance of a podium position. Okay, here we go. You're cleared into the track. Yeah, it's on. not a track I know particularly well. It's a bit of a brutal start to it. Quite, 
guys. This track is uh, pretty heavy. Too low there, it's a shame. Get around and down, get it down, and... Ah, oh, sinking in the gate. I mean, if that last one's a heavy, the hardest on the circuit, God knows what this one is. Jesus Christ. Got it there, let's see how we did globally. We are at 105th globally, that's actually not too shabby. Three seconds of penalty, so our actual time was, I think, pretty competitive for uh, our class. Good to know. Number three grand in the bank. Alright, so now let's jump in and do the final course of the day and evening. Clear evening run around my home course in Ascot. This is going to be a cinematic one again, guys, so uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, so that was Ascot, uh, that put us I think about 69th globally, somewhere like right there. Let's have a quick peek, why not? Um, 67th globally, so it's a pretty good run. Uh, as always guys, thank you for watching, we are getting very close to our 100 subscriber mark, we're about 20 away now. Uh, I'm planning a bit of an epic 100 subscriber special, so the quicker we get there, the more stress you guys put me under and the funnier it will be for you. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you next time on Red Bull Air Racing The Game. Fly safe, dudes.